Do not adjust your screens. That is Brigitte Bardot, and I'm Dr. Neptune, and I'm going to talk about my collection of picture discs today, starting with Brigitte. I'm going chronologically in order of when the music uh, was released. Uh, Brigitte Bardot was a big pop star, huge pop star in the 60s, had a lot of hit songs in France, and this is kind of a greatest hits of, th of them. And that up there says, And God Created Woman, which is her breakout role. So I love picture discs because they're usually really sharply uh, imaged. Uh, like he, here, you see all the detail of her hair. Um, it's a vivid image, always colorful. However, they make these things. This is so. These are vinyl LPs. You can see the grooves. There's music on these. You can play, but instead of black vinyl, it's a picture, baked in somehow. So uh, I get these discs according to if I like the artist and if the design is cool. Those are my main criteria. Um, so here's a Beatles picture disc, and this was not original from the original time of the Beatles this was made um, more recently um, but it is an actual uh, the actual album cover to this famously controversial album called yesterday and today um, it was a greatest hits album I think looks like it and um, uh, released I think only in England as well and the legend behind this famous butcher cover um, I don't really understand it. I'm not sure if the whole thing was just a gag or what, or if they actually did plan to release this uh, as the album cover, but um, there was a big stink about it back in the day, so <laughs> it's become pretty famous. I just look at Harrison. He looks completely demented there in the back row. McCartney's laughing. All the three in front are laughing, and that's ground beef or something. Meat and chopped up babies so I don't know what they were doing that day but uh, it looks like they had a lot of fun so um, there's the Beatles okay and usually I keep these in uh, clear plastic um, sort of envelope things but um, for ease of use and to better appreciate their their vivid imagery I took them all out for this video uh, so here's foreigners head games it was a great band back, back in their time, and I always really liked this album in particular. From the late 70s. And then here is one of my all-time favorite bands, uh, Roxy Music. And um, this is their 1979 album called Manifesto. I kept that in its... Uh, cover. Usually it's just a clear envelope, but this actually came in an album like cover with the track listing on the back. And also, I wanted to sh show now that I've shown that, I'll take them out and take it out. So there's the, there's the cover. Is it the same? Looks like, yeah, it's the same image on each side. Uh, what I really like about this is that. It's not the same as the original album cover, which is here on this CD release. And as you can see, what the picture disc has done is <laughs> removed all the clothing from all the mannequins. So they're in the same position, but all naked. <laughs> Roxy Music was known for their provocative album covers. So that's a great tribute to that or addition to that. Here's Bowie's Scary Monsters, one of his best albums, I think, from the early 80s. Oh, 1980, it says there. Always really liked the artwork on that. Uh, and then here, this is the only 10-inch uh, picture disc I have. This is Falco. <laughs> uh, his song, Der Commissar. And I got this a few years ago. You see, it's the 35th anniversary of, uh, I 
Amicus, that song. Also his other big song, Rock Me, Amadeus. <laughs> like the picture of him there. He passed away some, some years ago, I think. Looking very European and uh, decadent. Belko. Uh, here is the Miami Vice theme, which was one of my favorite shows in the 80s. I just loved this. And I have all the I have the complete series on DVD. Uh, Crockett and Tubbs here. Jan Hammer, that's the famous Miami Vice theme. And then also here is uh, Glenn Fry, his song You Belong to the City, which was in um, one of the one of Miami Vice's first season episodes. And this is Jan Hammer, uh, the composer of the title theme. This is uh, Purple Rain, of course. Really vivid um, colors and images on this one. This is a more recent one. I think I got this maybe probably last year, and it had just been made then. I was really struck by this one in particular, how clear the image is. I actually played the whole thing, too, front and back for old time's sake and uh, <laughs> I must have seen this movie ten times back in the 80s here is Madonna Ray of Light this is her great uh, kind of comeback album in the 90s I think um, yeah so that's basically just the picture disc of the album front and back This was her first album that really went into modern modern music, electronic type sounds. 1998 is the date on this. Okay. So love this album, love Madonna. Um, now here, this is uh, Katy Perry, and. I'm actually not really that big a Katy Perry fan. I found her output to be pretty um, varied in quality. Um, but I had to get this. This is her album, Prism. And um, it's a... Uh, it's a lyric sheet here. So um, it's a double LP picture disc. And these are really rare to find. The only other one that I know of is the other one that I have, which is Frankie Goes to Hollywood's Welcome to the Pleasure Dome. So for that reason, and I do like Katy Perry, some of her songs, um, for that those reasons I got this. But also, I'm just stunned at how really beautiful this is. Also, I think they're making these differently somehow more recently because it's just really sharp colorful uh, pictures here. Very, very beautiful. So one of my favorites. And then the, uh, I'll conclude with the only other artist, I think, besides Frankie, that I have multiple discs of, and that's uh, Lady Gaga. All right, so this is a seven inch uh, picture disc. I have three of these that I'll show. All three I got in a small record shop in the French Quarter in New Orleans when I went there on a business trip. Um, and these are her first singles from her first album. I'm not sure even which one is which, but very cool colors. This one is paparazzi. I've loved her since she came, started. Uh, I never expected her career to go the way it has with Hollywood movies and uh, you know duets with Tony Bennett and all that. But she and you know the Super Bowl and everything. This time I just thought she was a freaky dance diva, but uh, just love all of it. Not sure which one that is either. And then I have the besides those. This is um. 
uh, from her second album title song, Born This Way. And here is the lyrics. So this is the single, it's four versions of the single. It's not the complete album. So that really striking image as you would expect from, from Lady Gaga. Okay, so I'll leave her there as I say goodbye. Thank you much, Lee, for watching, um, and I uh, hope you liked that. Thanks for subscribing if you do, and um, I will uh, be back soon with more.